All right. So they say, yeah, I've got 24.8 seconds. Uh, sure. I'm doing well, Sarah. What's this about? What, where'd you go from there on the cold call? I jumped straight into it. You don't want to waste any time. Um, I know kind of Julia mentioned not mentioning competitors. And to be honest, I do a lot, probably too much. I do kind of get reamed out for it sometimes because sometimes they'll jump in and be like, that's actually not a competitor of ours or like, actually they're not in our space. And sometimes I'm like, mm, they are, you're wrong, but <laughs> did my research. However, um, I usually go in with that or I love going in with a good referral just because they'll automatically stay on the phone if you said you know hey julia will aiken told me to reach out to you and you're a good friend of wills of course you're gonna let me pitch so ask referrals wherever you can it's as simple as asking someone hey do you know this person i see you're connected with them on linkedin is it okay if i use your name in my hook or when i give them a call yes great there's a referral for you um i'll go straight into the pitch and i'm a big believer in this and a lot of people are going to come at me but after i pitch i hard close What's that sound like? So I finish my pitch and I'll say, you know, based on some of the things I just said, Will, it'd be really ignorant of me to tell you how we could actually support you just this second. But I'd be really keen to get you on a call tomorrow or Thursday at 2 or 4 p.m. Eastern time to walk you through how we can support you and your goals and priorities for the team this year. And like, how does that sound? And sometimes they'll honestly be like, yeah, that actually works great. Timing is everything. Kind of like what Julia was mentioning, like when the timing is right, it's going to happen. So, you know, there's going to be times where you hard close right after your pitch and you are going to get a yes. And it's like the best feeling in the world. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe that just worked. But <laughs> my theory behind hard closing after your pitch is like, you're, if they stay on the phone after that, you're going to get a second time to close. So like, wouldn't you rather two times like that you're able to close rather than just one. I think some of like the biggest mistakes too that our SDRs face and that I used to face is after my pitch, I'd be like, okay, now what open-ended question should I ask? Like, then they answer the question. And then I'm like, okay, what question do I need to ask now? Like, instead of just being like, ask an open-ended question, see what they say and say, that's exactly why we should meet Will. Um, how do those times work for you that I just mentioned? If those don't work for you, how about this? And give them an alternate time. So mm -hmm. I think it's all about like don't get nervous and drag it out when you when they're giving you the opportunity to close multiple times